one thing that maybe a lot of people won't know about EXL. We already have approximately 50 to 60 different AI solutions deployed with our customers today. They are in production. We have a very deep heritage of artificial intelligence that we've been building over the years. So it's not something that has occurred to us today. To your question, how are we bringing AI into experience? Think about this when the customer calls us today. Even before they call us, maybe take a step back. How many of really know our customers? How many of us really have that data to intelligently understand the customer who's calling us? So first thing that when we work with our customers is we want our customers to know their customers, understand the underlying data, understand their journeys. That's the first step. Then once you have that, as the customer is interacting with you in any means, you are trying to make it easy for the customer. That's the whole philosophy. How do you make it easy and simple for them to do business with the clients that they're working with? We started working with the claims operations of an insurance company. 55 to 60% of time was just being spent on research, understanding what needs to be delivered to the customer, finding the information. What's happening? Customer is on the hold. Neither of them is getting good experience. And 65% of the time we felt was getting spent in, let me get the notes, let me get the information. Now imagine if somebody is new in this, chances are they will end up giving wrong information. So we have developed this generative AI solution for our customer. And what we've been able to do is through transcription, every interaction is getting typed. Through intent recognition, the prompts are coming to the associate or the claim handler to be able to give this information. Hey, Brian called, this is the stage of the claim. Maybe you want to offer this. So that's the kind of recommendation that are being thrown by the AI engine to the associate or the claim handler for that conversation. So if you put this all together, the research time is down by 50%. The accuracy of the information is up by 40 to 45%. So the defect rate is down. But most importantly, it's human in the loop. So we are still not at a point where we are suggesting companies that, hey, go complete berserk on AI and forget about the human in the loop. We are in the journey where we are assisting the human to become more intelligent. So that kind of brings to life how AI, like in really layman terms, is changing the dynamics of this industry.